right now? Hi, my name is Marisha Pessel. In a few minutes, I'm going to be answering your questions about my new novel, Never World Wake, so stick around. Hello everybody, my name is Marisha Pessel. I am so excited to be talking to you about my new novel out today, Never World Wake. It's a psychological thriller about five friends who convene in a remote estate um, one year after high school. Their friendship has pretty much fallen by the wayside. They've all fallen out of touch. Um, so this is a reunion of sorts to sort of sift through um, some of the secrets that they've all been hiding. After a near-death experience in a car, they come back to the house um, thinking that they have survived um, when there's a knock on the door and a mysterious man announces that they have entered the Never World Wake. To make a long story short, the Never World Wake is a limbo of sorts um, where they are trapped in time. The space-time continuum has become snagged. In order to free themselves from this purgatory, they must do two things. One, solve the death of their sixth friend, Jim, who died their senior year of high school. And they also must come to a nearly unanimous vote as to who's going to go on to life and who's going to die. There can only be one survivor. So I am so excited to answer your questions today on this book birthday. Um, again, it's my first young adult novel, and it's very exciting to be entering this space. So, um, I'm going to start with the first question. Let's see, where is it? Um, was your process for writing Never World Wake different than for your other novels? So, it was very interesting. I do believe that every book has a different writing process for me. Uh, special Topics, my first novel, required a very intense outline. Um, because it was my first novel, I really wanted to sit to um, stick to a very set um, map um, because I was afraid of what would happen if I went away from the map. <laughs> um, for my second novel, Night Film, it was much more exploratory. I wanted to push myself. I wanted to not know exactly where things were going. Um, of course, I worked out a few of the major plot twists for Night Film. Um, so in the course of writing my third adult novel, um, I actually had this tiny idea um, for this very claustrophobic mystery where all of these friends who've fallen out of touch can be in. Clearly, if this is reminding you of any novels, it was very much inspired by one of my favorite novelists of all time, the great mystery grand dame Agatha Christie. So I wanted to conceive a mystery um, in the vein of Agatha Christie um, for the modern world. So not only are they trapped at a remote estate a la Agatha Christie, um, time is actually keeping them in one spot. Um, so the writing for Neverworld actually was quite fast. Normally I take around three years for my novels um, and Neverworld came together I, w I think in about a year and I really wrote it on the side while I was writing my adult novel and it just so happened um, this was finished before my adult novel. I always knew I wanted to enter the young adult space because um, those books that I read as a teenager really informed me as a writer. So I knew I wanted to contribute in some way. And um, it just so happened this book was finished first. And um, so the rest is history. OK, let's see. Um, was your process for writing Never World Wake different? Oh, that's the same question. OK, there's another question. Let's see. Um, do you, uh, what character do you most identify with and why? Um, which are the main characters? So there are five main characters. Um, this is a little, uh, might not be the answer that the reader is hoping for, but I do identify with all of my characters. I do try to find um, some part of their humanity that I understand. And I, always, I think it's very much like an actor 
playing a role. You have to find similarities within your own background for your characters. But the character that I'm most alike would probably be the main character, Beatrice. Um, she's a fish out of water very much. Um, she feels incredibly different than her friends because of the nature of her school experience. Her high school experience was at this very elite boarding school and she was on scholarship and she very much felt like she was entering a world and she had no similarities with anyone and felt very alone. And um, I certainly felt like that a lot in my high school experience. I was raised by a single mother and, um, and that alone made me quite different than my peers. So I very much um, relate to B in terms of her isolation and her wanting to connect. I ended up connecting through my writing and, um, and Beatrice connects through um, friendship and um, some of the creative things that she does. So that's that question. Uh, okay, let's see, there's another question, where is it? Um, okay, if you could choose one character from Night Film to inhabit the Neverworld way, <laughs> who would you choose and why? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, so basically the setup of Neverworld Wake requires um, a lot of digging. So one of the premises the, or one of the themes that's dealt with within the book is um, that the friends that we think we're so close to actually have many different layers to them. And um, being trapped in time um, in a specific setting allows you to dig within all of these different layers I with these so-called friendships that you have. So um, I would certainly want the character from Night Film to be someone who has many layers. So um, I, I mean, I think this is an easy answer. It would have to be Stanislas Cordova because um, I would be very interested to see how he handles being trapped in time. Um, if he goes insane, if he makes art out of this repetition, um, if he turns the exploration of time into a character study. Um, so I think he would do something quite interesting with a frozen time warp. So, Cordova. Okay, let's see. Um, where, uh, what, oh, I was it? Oh, do you have a favorite young adult novel? If so, will we see its influence in Neverworld Wake? Certainly. I mean, I was influenced, I would say my main um, my favorite young adult novels would be um, The Chronicles of Lar Narnia, starting with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, the Lord of the Rings, I don't think you'll see too much, <laughs> too much influence of Lord of the Rings in um, Neverworld Wake, but um, also The Outsiders. Um, so I, I think you might see, maybe there was tinges of The Outsiders in terms of the characters. And, um, and how they build friendship and how they make sense of the world through these close relationships. Um, how friendship is really a, a form of family. Um, but also one of my other favorite novels, A Wrinkle in Time, simply like the time travel, the sense of different universes. Um, one of the questions I've been asked a great deal is um, how did I handle this first like layer of science fiction when my two novels really dealt with um, strictly reality, which is a bit debatable, but um, I think that um, A Wrinkle in Time, having read that and how innately it just um, accepts these rules of the world in which the book takes place, um, I very much did the same thing. I adopted a certain set of um, of rules for this, the ne Neverworld Wake, and um, and just kind of wrote a novel as I always do. So, um, let's see. Um, do I have another novel coming soon? I do. So a lot of you have been asking, am I only going to start writing young adult? And that is absolutely not the case. I'm not quitting my day job. Um, I'm going to certainly continue young adult, but of course, um, adult. I'm going to write. Um, adult novels as well. So I will be finishing my next adult novel and you will ha see more of that hopefully very soon. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. Oh, like Night Film, will, will there be a Dutch translation of Neverworld? Like, absolutely. Um, Neverworld is going to be translated into 18 languages. So um, you can certainly check my website for pub dates and publishers and the time frame for all of that. Okay, let's 
Um, uh, I know there's another question. I can't. What is this? Oh, I just heard from my husband. My daughter says hi, mommy. That's very nice. Okay. Um, is that it? I think. Okay. Um, oh, one more. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think. How would you describe Neverworld Wake in five emojis? Okay, that's a really good one. Um, we'd start with the dagger emoji. Then we would move to the detective emoji with the magnifying glass, of course. Um, is I don't know actually. Is I think I would move to the thunderstorm emoji. I don't know if that exists because I've never used it. But um, then there would be a clock emoji, and then there would be the black heart emoji. Basically, if you just look at those emojis, you don't need to read the book. You just look at those emojis. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and I guess that's it. So thank you so much. Again, Never World Wake is out today. You can find it at any major retailer. You can find all of my tour information if I'll be visiting you on my website, mariachapessel.com. If you buy the book, um, I'm creating, or I've already created a secret Facebook group. Um, there's a secret password which will be listed in the comments beneath this post. Um, so you can join a discussion about the book and the characters and thank you so much for tuning in I cannot wait for you to read this book and I cannot wait to discuss it with you. So stay tuned. Thank you so much